okay so let me just say this i had no admits still i would say april last week and i got like three admits in the space of 10 days <laughs> I came here in fall 2018, and uh, I actually uh, completed my bachelor's back in 2017 uh, in computer engineering. And uh, after that, after I completed my bachelor's, I was not actually sure like uh, whether I had to do my master's or not. So like it was like a completely decision I had taken after completing my bachelor's. I was looking at uh, United States. I was kind of looking at Canada as well. Uh, I was also looking at Singapore because, like, I have uh, relatives staying over there. So, uh, so I was kind of confused. First, tried to focus on non-US countries, and uh, by I guess Jan or Feb, I realized that it's like I need to have something because there are very few universities in other countries, like compared to the United States. So what if like I don't get an admit and like oh, so yeah, then I started like looking for universities in the United States and uh, I applied to around like five or six I guess. So during August I considered like so I want to give GRE and everything. So I kind of gave it in the second week of November. TOEFL wasn't really that difficult, so I gave it in December first week. And I started applying for universities in the United States in Jan, Jan and February first week. And basically, I heard from them after a really long time. Like I heard from them in May, to be honest. So let me just say this: I had no admits till I would say April last week. And I got like three admits in the space of ten days. <laughs> it was uh, after I got it actually after I got the admit, and uh, it was quite late actually, like around June, June, July, or something like that, just before my visa interview. So it was a kind of a departmental scholarship. So the way the scholarship worked was like they had a amount. Scholarship amount was like two thousand uh, dollars, and usually it's like if the scholarship amount is greater than one thousand or at least one thousand, then it qualifies for in-state. Uh, so by in-state, it means like uh, there is a specific fee difference for international students and people who are from that specific state. So people from Texas have to pay; it's around like forty percent fees less. Uh, they just have to pay 60%. So I basically qualified for that, and uh, it was for the fall 2018, uh, spring 2019, and uh, summer 2019 semester as well because I had taken courses during summer 2019 as well. I give a rough estimate of the fees as well. Maybe that will make sense. So now the fees are like probably, I guess now the fees are like 14,000 or something. Uh, for me, it was like around thirteen thousand or something. So my fees were uh, six six thousand five hundred, six thousand seven hundred something. So it would say fifty to sixty percent less. So yeah. The course was like kind of like a dual specialization course. So you had options like, for example, you had databases, you had like artificial intelligence, networking, security. So out of these, you can choose any two and uh, specialize uh, in them. And uh, also, uh, so the thing was like, I my GRE score was high, but they have a specific scheme. Like if your GRE score is, they have a cutoff for like the quants and the quantitative and the verbal. So like, if your score is above that, then uh, they give you less credits. Like you have to complete 30 credits uh, instead of 36. So I had 36 credits, like most of them had 36 credits because like not a lot of people had that high of a GRE score. If you're an Indian in Texas, 
uh, it's like one big family uh, to be honest uh, so you go around your friends place you socialize you play like you play games and there are a lot of events like the university are in this as well usually when new students come in like the university tries to like arrange new events for like the incoming students so um uh, yeah so here i would say it's i mean there are like no very few chances of getting homesick uh, 